she yeah. has apparently received some hate from other uh, people as well for being uh, her partner is white um, and of, you know that is why it led apparently to Ilina Stasi's uh, racist comment about the baby is there any legal action that she'd be able to take uh, she may not be able to take actually legal action, but the International Federation is investigating him on whether or not he needs to be suspended, which is very warranted in this case. You can't have a leader of tennis or any other sport or any organization of any sort to make these types of statements because we want the sport of tennis and every other sport to be fair, to have leaders who really exemplify the type of uh, socialization that we all want. We want someone who's not racist, doesn't make racist comments. And this guy has a history of sexist and hateful comments to women and other players. And he has no place to be in the in the sport of tennis. Well, in this in this very same tournament, uh, in which he made these comments, he reduced Johanna Conta, who's one of the best British stars, to tears. Just she had to stop playing for a few minutes because he screamed at uh, uh, her and. Uh, one of her colleagues, yeah, that not, I'm not going to repeat the exact phrase he used, but it was a disgusting phrase to the two women. He also propositioned the captain of the England team, standing next to her, inviting her back to his hotel room. All of this behaviour he might have thought was funny, you know, 40 years ago when he was Ilian Nastasi, the bad boy mm. tennis player. But right now, Eric, it just looks really inappropriate for a man, as you say, leading a, a team. Yes, it's highly inappropriate. And he's this is the same guy who asked Pam Shriver about her virginity when she was 16 years old. He does not have a place in the sports world. He should be banned from this sport. He should not be allowed to coach or lead this, this federation. And he should be put out.